How's it going, guys? It is 5.01 a.m. Monday, 6th of February here in Japan. We have a past level question for genetics for step one. Not going to be a lengthy clip. We'll cut to the chase. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L, man underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel are down below. Now start the clip. 18-year-old male, previously healthy, three-week history of progressive abdominal swelling and fatigue. Abdo exam shows shifting dullness and distension. Vitals are unremarkable. Bowel sounds normal. Paracentesis, which means aspiration of the fluid of the peritoneal cavity. Don't confuse with pericardiocentesis. Yields 50 milliliters of chylus fluid, which means lymphatic fluid, important vocabulary word. Which of the following translocation is most likely explanation for these findings? Let's just whip through the answers here. Choice A. 1114 translocation, wrong fucking answer. It's the first a mantle cell lymphoma. Garbage diagnosis for you, a okay? In theory, 5 to 10% of non Hodgkin lymphoma is overexpression of cyclin D1. Absolute nonsense. Back in the day when step one was uh, numerical, we're all shooting for a 280, memorized a bunch of nonsense. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, 1418 translocation, follicular lymphoma, wrong answer, albeit high yield. So this is going to be BCL2 overexpression, which is an anti-apoptotic molecule. Flick lymphoma, most common indolent non-Hodgkin lymphoma, which means not aggressive, will present usually as a waxing, waning, painless neck mass over one to two years. Okay, so what you want to take away from this, apart from the 1418, is just BCL2, anti-apoptotic molecule. They mentioned BCL2 in a question, and they just want you to know that's going to prevent cell death. Okay, wrong fucking answer. Choice C, 1517, translocation, wrong answer. This is APL, acute promyelocytic leukemia, aka AML type M3. All you need to know for this is that they have our rods on a blood smear. Okay, so when you get AML, whether it's just M2, which is your typical AML, or M3, which is your APL, it doesn't fucking matter, okay? What's going to happen is you're going to get a question with a smear that shows our rods. You need to know our rods composed of myeloperoxidase. If you treat the leukemia with all transretinoic acid, which is vitamin A, you cause differentiation of cells, you can cause lysis of cells, and that can precipitate a disseminated intravascular coagulation, okay? So DIC after treatment of leukemia is going to be 1517 translocation, APL. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, A14 translocation, correct answer, this is Burka lymphoma. So it can also be 28822, absolute nonsense, okay? Just 814 is what you should know, which is C-MYC, C hyphen MYC, which is a transcription factor, okay? So Burkitt, you don't have to worry about whether it's Africa versus the United States, a bunch of garbage. It can be abdominal as we have here, or it can be of the jaw. So there's a question on one of the 2CK clinical master series forms where they give some guy in his 40s who has an intra-abdominal lymphoma with chylus fluid, okay? And presumably it's Burkitt. Question doesn't rely on you knowing it's Burkitt, but I thought it's interesting because I'm like, yeah, this one's Burkitt. It's on the 2CK forms, as I just said. So you also need to know the histo for this, which is going to be a starry sky appearance colloquially. They're going to show you a background of uh, basophilic T cells, and you're going to have occasional more translucent macrophages. And there, there's a question on one of the NBMEs where they have an arrow pointing to one of the macrophages and they want to know what's occurring there. The answer is apoptosis. Weird fucking question. Not my opinion. It's on the NBME exam. They are called tingible body macrophages, not tangible, tingible body macrophages, which apoptosis occurs there. That's all you need to know. Not my fucking opinion. Choice C, 922 translocation, Philadelphia chromosome, wrong answer, chronic myelogenous leukemia, BCR, ABL, causes an oncogenic tyrosine kinase. You're going to treat with a matinib, which will uh, target that BCR, ABL, tyrosine kinase, and that can cause fluid retention slash peripheral edema. Question will tell you that there's a bunch of myelosounding cells, myelocytes, promyelocytes, metamyelocytes, decreased leukocyte ALP. Wrong fucking answer. You know the deal to make more content. I feel like my stuff, subscribe my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.